have so many homes in our country as off-grid homes and we do not have a technology that can serve to provide them electricity as a good solution. We don't have a system that gives them uh, the quality of energy that we have nowadays. We have been treating them like uh, we are superiors and they are inferior and that they do not need the technology and the electricity and the equipment and the excess the way we need. But we need to treat them equally. We need to give them some power, some electricity that can give them excess 24 by 7 and the system that is reliable, the system that works throughout their life. So that is what made them make us move into that direction of developing this technology that can give them good excess for a long time. Our primary power source that we have is coal. We do not have any oil, very little gas, very little nuclear. And our hydro is also relatively limited. And we recognize that coal can be somewhat polluting. For us, therefore, the only other option is renewables. And in renewables, definitely solar is where we are really rich. All these solar systems have been developed in such a way that there are a number of losses. When we are powering a home using a solar plant, we use the solar panels. The solar panels give out DC, but to use that DC, we do DC to AC conversion since it has to be synchronized with the incoming grid if the grid is available. From that point onwards, Professor Junjunwala said that let's review the sort of, uh, you know, the, uh, the losses which are happening in each one of the uh, appliances. And to our utter surprise, we find that, you know, a lot of this uh, low power converters were really inefficient, you know, so which means that the converters we have for our mobile phones, the converters we have for our laptop chargers, and the converters we have for the LED lighting, we realize that in those things alone, we were losing about 20-25% of power. And of course, if you have solar and battery on top of that, you were losing much more power. So it was a very inefficient way of using very expensive power like solar. And that's the time we said that, yeah, let's change this paradigm and then let's create a, a, a new paradigm, new way of looking at things and then let us see if that works. Now, since the solar is varying in the number of power, it is not giving us a continuous power. We have to use batteries so that we can use the power during nights or during the times when there is no solar available. At that time, we needed a technology which is geographic specific, tunable, scalable and adaptable. We need its energy developed for the whole system and startups and some companies lined up for developing different systems and parts of the system. Our system developed was tested at a number of places inside IIT. Our labs, some of the homes um, of our professors, of our researchers, and was thoroughly used by them, thoroughly tested by them, monitored by them. And with all that learnings that we had, we improved on our system, went into a number of iterations, and finally came up with a product that was ready to be deployed in the field. It is such a system, solar DC system, solar DC inverterless that IIT Madras went on to design. And once we designed it, the advantages were obvious. The capital cost of installing something comes down by a factor of 2.5 to 3. And we therefore started installing. This is the main source for the inverterless 2500 system. This solar plant capacity is of 5 kilowatts. Each solar module is of 125 watt peak capacity operating at 40 volts peak voltage. They are connected in series and parallel combination to get the required operating voltage and current for the inverterless 2500 system. This box is called solar combiner box or string combiner box. Power from all these solar panels will be collected here and it will, it will go to the inverterless unit located in the first floor. Power from the solar plant is connected to this unit. There is a one more source that is a single phase 230 volts AC supply. We also have a battery bank connected with this inverterless unit. This is the battery bank. Totally there are 24 batteries connected in series. Each battery is of 2 volts capacity and 200 AH rating. These are the DC tube lights and fans powered by the inverterless unit. The tube light consumes only 18 watts when compared to normal 40 watts tube light. And the fan consumes only 30 watts when compared to a normal 70 watt ceiling fan. The intensity can be increased and decreased using the remote and the speed of the fan also be controlled using the remote.
All these deployments are being taken up by Signi, our system integrator and going to different places, understanding that what has to be done for DC deployment and for implementation of all these devices and systems at 48 volt DC and also training the local technicians for installations and also for maintenance purposes. One of the schools that these system has been deployed is a government higher senior secondary school at the Shoknagar Chennai. The school used to encounter huge power cuts. Since the system has been deployed, there are no power cuts. The teachers and the students are very happy because they have continuous power available with them. The power bills have also gone down by about one third of their existing or the previous bills that they used to have. Before the so solar energy was powered in our block, we had many power cuts, but now it has not happened. So I am very benefited by this. Thank you. We went to deserts of Rajasthan, those areas where on the border of Pakistan where vehicles cannot even go. The only way to go there is on camelback or maybe some tractors. We took our equipment, we took solar panel and we went to 4000 homes and connected them and provided them not just the electricity, DC power but also lights, fans, cell phone charger and other things. Beauty of our solution is, you know, we are operating this DC uh, under what is called as uh, safe extra low voltage standard. It's called SCLB standard. Uh, so uh, our the voltage at which we operate uh, falls under this SCLB standard. So what it means is that it is, uh, you know, absolutely more safe than having the 230 volt AC in their homes because they are operating at a much lower uh, DC voltage. So for our system, we chose 48 volt, which we found as the best in comparison to all the voltages that were available in this given range. Apart from that, the voltages, we have all built-in uh, protection systems that we would find in any electrical appliance or anywhere that we are using anyways electricity since decades now. So all those safety features and protection features are there. So it's absolutely safe. <laughs> बिसूर नाग पर डाल जाती तो दिखते कुछ चिमनी घड़ी किया करते घड़ी किया का जड़बूत जाती वे लाटे लोता लाटे जगाते तो लाटे ले में शीशा फूट जाता तो फिर वहाँ बंद हो जाता बहुत दुखी होता हमें लगा है जन बहुत धन्यवाद है थोड़े अच्छी बात हुई मौरे सब उच्चा होगी अच्छा फटाफट बिना � तो अभी तेल साइज़ है और हमें मिट्टी तेल है तो वो ही मिला कौन घास लेटी थर मार के रहो लाओ कन मेन बत्ते लाओ और क्या करो बस ये और के लेट हो आये अपन के आ लेट है हैंगो है बढ़िया है नहीं उसका करंट आ गयो अपन तो बढ़िया है ऐडी मान तो दे दिया बच्चों ने बढ़िया था धन्यवाद है थोड़े मोस्ट ऑफ uh, transport you have to go by camels you have to take tractors you have to move do your jugar technology to reach to those people you can do that once you can't be going there for repairing purposes it comes out to be it doesn't make any business sense so once it doesn't make a business sense there's nobody to take care of the uh, maintenance part nobody to take care of the complaints that they have so this was important that we make a technology which has inbuilt features of remote monitoring of something that whatever is happening in that area, whatever they are doing with their energy, we sitting here at Madras or sitting anywhere in the world could log into our account and see that what is happening to them. How is it that they are consuming the electricity? <laughs> 
पशुपालन और खेती पर निर्भर खेती आज सिंचित हुए तो मतलब लोगों का जीवन कुल मिला के पशु पालक है तो लाइट का वहन भी नहीं कर सकते लाइट अगर लगाना चाहे तो भी वहन नहीं कर सकते ये सिस्टम निर्धन गरीब लोगों के लिए मतलब बहुत अच्छा है सर बच्चे पढ़ लिख के लिख सकते हैं आराम से और लोगों के जीवन में बहुत उजाला समझ लो ये लाइट से भी अच्छा उज्वाला है सर नंबर ऑफ लेडीज एक्चुअली in those places have not seen electricity at all in their lifetimes so the men in the family go to their cities to get their mobile phone charged or for any other matter they are going for uh, shopping etc women are not going they are all the way at their homes so they do not know how a bulb looks like they have not watched tv any time how and uh, how a tube light looks like how a fan looks like so the women one of the women uh, when the fan was installed first of all at their house she was uh, she was scared what is it that it's rotating on her rooftop and uh, one of our teammates had to pull her and bring her down the uh, fan that it is nothing is happening so she was saying ki kuch jadoo hai so that is that is the reaction so you see that the world uh, in which we are living we have so much of electronics we have ipads and laptops and everything our people are going uh, on other planets and all there are people who do not even know that a fan exists there are people who do not even know that the bulbs exist phaja badhiya lag raha hai sha koi bisu hai kanto hai eru hai oi hat jata hai dekhda hai aankhon se bahut badhiya kaam hai badhiya sujha hai pakha aise zoot karte hai ke zyada takbeel barsa hai to hai garmi ho hai jinda bachcha chala leta hai aaram se jinda pakha bahut dikht hi acha acha bahar hai bina to dikht hi rahe ho hai milne sujha badhiya hai theek hai dujo jada hoya chulle ke rotiyan kara to badhiya ek dikh bhog rahe nina andar mein kya dikht hai I'll give you a small list of appliances along with the sources and a rough cost estimate if we go in a off-grid home. So if we talk about uh, the homes that we have done as a package in Rajasthan, you include one 125 watt of solar panel, one battery uh, of one kilowatt hour, and uh, the inverterless box. It is in the appliances one fan, one tube light, two bulbs, and one cell phone charger. that cost you about 20000 rupees so that's that's a whole package that that's mon- that much is the money that one needs to electrify one's home including the sources and the appliances that's yeah we are now doing this in hills of assam in those areas where otherwise conventional power does not go and other systems simply doesn't make sense we are able to go there and start putting dc power but it is not in this non conventional area this specific areas that this solar dc is for solar dc is for every home in india we have harsh conditions in our country we have uh, uh, areas which are not accessible not at all accessible whereas the condition in other countries is not that harsh and to add on it uh, when you see at the numbers as you say you have seen number of uh, uh, numbers in other countries also you would have seen that our country tops in the uh, list of off grid areas still to be electrified so yeah we are on top so we have to start from our country we had to do something indig- indigenous and which suits our people which suits our environment and it's it certainly is going to be helpful to all other areas and that's where the international people are also very interested to take it up